Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Snail Tube. We have exciting news, we have new snails. As you can see, I've been pretty busy with the drill already. Drilling holes in this new enclosure for the snails. It's a pretty big enclosure. It's about two foot by foot by about six inches high. And this is gonna be home to our new snails, which are Acatina Flaco Rodazzi. The yellow shelled variety, dark bodied still though. There you can see I've got substrate, spider life. Which, on, as it says on the back, substrate is also suitable for a wide range of other invertebrates such as scorpions, cockroaches, millipedes, snails or stick insects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a generous layer of substrate in this enclosure. I'm hoping these guys are going to breed at some point so we'll have lots of little baby snails for you guys. There we go, the substrate is now in the tank. We're going to give it a little spray with a spray bottle. Just nicely moisten all of that up so they've got quite a damp and humid environment. Remember, I could for like it, don't like it as wet as some other snails, and um, maybe like uh, Arctacatina marginata, there, and they like it quite wet. And um, these guys, they like it damp, but it shouldn't be sopping, there shouldn't be puddles in the tank. They definitely don't like that. Right, let's do some decorating. Here I've got a plant pot, as you can see here. I've created a deep side and a shallow side of the tank. Hopefully they'll lay eggs and sort of burrow in this part and this part is where I'll feed them. And hopefully that means that when eggs are laid they'll only be contained in a deeper area. So let's go ahead and bury this plant pot in the substrate. I'll put some substrate. Hopefully that means they'll have a nice home now. I think hides are really, really important for small animals, uh, inverts, um, just because in the wild they're naturally going to have things that are going to be predators to them. So it, it, it just even in habitats where there's no predators, sometimes they just like a nice place to hide where they can feel safe, can get away from the world and can relax. I've got some fake plants. Just going to dot around. Give it a bit of a natural feel and natural look. There we go, fake plants fully set up in the enclosure. Now it's time to add some snails. Okay, I'm gonna go over here, grab these guys. These guys are significantly larger than my other snails that I have. So I'm just gonna go and place the camera down while I just open the pot. There is some nice sphagnum moss in here, which, are, which I will chuck inside their um, hide there. Never, you, as I've watched all these videos on YouTube and I never realised how hard it actually is to film and do stuff with one hand. You see quite a lot of the spider guys dealing with very fast tarantulas whilst filming and doing so successfully I'm struggling here with some snails. Hey guys, so basically I was in the middle of shooting the this video and my camera cut out and I've been busy the last couple of days so I finally got around to finishing off this video introducing the new snails and here they are in their new setup. She says one on the roof there and one in the hide. Let me just go ahead and open up their enclosure 
here is our new snail Delilah we've gone for the biblical theme Samson and Delilah Delilah is quite a bit smaller than Samson so I'll see the size comparison to my hand got a medium size snail still got quite a lot of growing to do Samson is pretty big see so he's probably double the size of her, well I say him and her, snails are hermaphrodites, they've got both parts, so they're not actually gendered. You can see he's pretty big and he's hiding in his flower pot. These guys love this flower pot. Delilah had a burrow underneath the soil, I think it's still there actually. She was under there for the first day that she came in, just settling in, just getting used to the new environment. Hides are very, very important for small animals, I say it all the time but it goes to show they use them so they must like them therefore they must be important really right, we've got a salad on the go lettuce, squash, tomatoes cuttlefish bone, oyster shell nice environment here this is the finished article pretty boring at the moment but we will add stuff to it as we go thanks for watching, bye